So last week we've had a really big storm and it has blown olives, leaves, twigs, all kinds of stuff into the bottom of our pool. In the old days, in the old days, at this point I would have been cursing and uh, reaching for the trusty old net to go and fish all that out. This is of course not the old days, this is the modern days, so instead we've got a Matronix uh, M600 robot cleaner, robot pool cleaner. I'm gonna give you a real, real quick overview of it. We've had it for about a year and a half and how it's performed. So here's the jobby. The, um, the paintwork's a bit scuffed because so we've had it for a year, it's been in, it's been in use frequently. Only one user, user serviceable part, and that's the filter. You change that, oh, sorry, you clean that after every use. And we pop them in the pool. Really simple, like that. Make sure there's enough lead, so the lead doesn't hang up. And once he's got to the bottom, turn him on and show you what he looks like. So I, I think we'll probably do two cycles. Each cycle lasts for two hours. Um, and I reckon after two cycles, that pool will be absolutely immaculate there won't be a leaf in there because the performance of this machine is really rather good it is not the cheapest Matronix do um, other other machines the m500 and the 400 which are significantly cheaper and of course there are many many other manufacturers and barracuda type systems so it's not cheap but the performance is good however the app, because this one has a Wi-Fi cloud-based operating system, which is great because it means anywhere in the world, in theory, we can turn the robot on and monitor what it's up to and see what it's doing. The app is terrible. The software is terrible. It needs frequent reinstallation on the phone for the app perspective. And the robot itself does quite frequent firmware updates, which always hang. I've not had one work properly yet gets to the point where once it's done a firmware update you can't do anything other than press the on off button so you lose all the scheduling the different there's different modes of cleaning ah, shame because mechanically the performance is great so i'm not going to use the app today because it's on the phone it's just one button and that's this one here so we just press it like that and it goes blue that's probably flashing because of the, the refresh rate of the phone but anyway then your little robot goes through a quick self-test cycle. It goes left and it goes right. Like that. And then it will run the impeller pump. So just down here, any moment now, you'll see all the water disturbed by the pump. And it's actually a very powerful impeller pump. It's a dead good machine, really. So here we go, that's the pump running. And then it's gonna go off and, uh, and do its business. So I'm not gonna, of course, have a four hour video. We'll come back to that. The only other thing that we've had um, cause to use, so I can give you some feedback on that, is the after after sales service, because unfortunately the um, main gearbox, the main motor inside the unit, sprung a leak on one side and it caused one of the motors to fail. The robot will go around in circles and then turn itself off because it obviously self-diagnosed an issue. So Matronics themselves, based in the USA, and they had one course of action which was bring the unit back to the shop. Can't do that because I'm in Corfu and the shop is in Farnborough in England. I really can't do that. It's totally impractical to do that. I spoke to the shop in Farnborough, I spoke to the guy who bought it from, and he was really helpful. So we came to um, an amenable sort of compromise. So I said, well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I will take the unit apart. Matronix said, do not touch that unit with a screwdriver. You'll invalidate the warranty. This guy said, you know what you're doing? Yeah, I'm doing. Right, go on then, take it apart, bring the motor in, and we'll swap it over. So he did that. They're about 400 quid, euros, for a new motor. So he did that free of charge. It has a three-year warranty. So the backup service from Matronix themselves was not ideal. But from the guy in Farnborough, their, their agent, their local agent, he was spot on and he was great. So that's a good thing. We'll come back in a while and see how it's doing with these leaves, all right? Okay, so that's the first two hour cycle complete. And I would say that that pool is probably 90% clean off one cycle. There's a, there's a leaf over there in the middle. 
There's a few little bits down here. Now this leaf on the surface, ignore that because a robot of course won't get that. Um, but that will be that will be cleaned by the usual um, going over the edge and going through the pool system. So again, that, that little branch there, no robot's going to get those because they're on the surface. But subsurface, it's done almost all of it. But we're going to do another cycle. We will do two cycles because I want the pool to be completely clean and I don't want to then have to put the robot on again for another week or, or maybe two or maybe even three depending on the weather. So let's have a look and see what's inside. Quite a lot of rubbish in there. Quite a lot of rubbish. So this basket just left out. We'll have a closer look at that in a moment. Excuse the um, overgrowing everything, it needs a, needs a stream. Right, so the basket filter comes in a couple of parts. We have an inner tray like this, sort of a pre-filter type thing. Then you have the filter basket itself and it's got a couple of different components. We've got on this side, the front and on the back here, a kind of a mesh, a fine mesh, and then on either side we have this sort of pleated filter, a more uh, a finer filter medium. Now in the box they give you replacement panels, you can replace this with these type of fine filter, that's all in the box. Um, I don't see the need to because actually this is fine enough, and I've, let's have a look and see what it's got. So lots and lots of big leaves, well you'd expect that from any company's filter robot because ultimately leaves are easy to pick up. They're big and they don't weigh much. What's really good, icky, 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 right, so a couple of olives in there, but you can see all the brown sort of gunky mud. These are the bits that are harder for these machines to pick up because of course they're much smaller particles. Um, and you need a finer filter medium and that's one of the reasons that that I haven't bothered changing those screens for the pleated type of filters because they're fine enough they seem to capture all of that fine grit and if you go for the pleated filters it reduces the flow rate oh, not a lot but it does reduce the flow rate so we're happy with that so to, to clean it out it's dead simple you get a hose and you just wash it all down I'm not going to do that because I haven't got enough hands with the phone and the filter and the hose um, We'll give it a quick hose down, I'll show you that, put it back in the machine and we'll run it for another two hours. Then that pool will be sparkling, it'll be really good. So case in point, at the moment the robot is um, doing a superb job of cleaning the water line. Um, the mechanics, the cleaning operation, it's great, but here's the power supply and uh, so excuse the flickering, the refresh rate's not working well with my phone, but you can see the green lights flashing. Now that means it's lost its um, Wi-Fi connection. I've just reset it and reinstalled the app and re-entered all of the details and logged in and all that kind of stuff and it's still not working. Now look, I've got a mesh AP, or I'm sorry, a mesh node. It's about there. The unit here, it's, I don't know, six feet away. There's a little camera, CCTV camera up here, which is about 60 feet away. And that is working well. So if that can connect 60 feet away, why can't this connect 6 feet away? Mm. Go and have more of a chat about that. So the most important thing right now is that um, I've got myself a nice hot coffee. Because uh, you've got to have coffee. Right, so the M600 um, versus the M500 and the M400. There is no doubt that the M600 cleans exceptionally well. It's mechanically a great bit of kit. From a software and user interface point of view, I have to say I am disappointed. I really am. Um, 
There's a lot you can do with the app. When it works, it's great. You can download it free off the App Store, whichever platform you're on. So go and have a look at it. Look at all the things you can do. As I say, you can you can schedule the um, schedule the unit for sort of daily, every other day, every three days, however many times a week. You can have a quick clean, a deep clean, a regular clean. You can change the colour of the LEDs on the front, including disco mode, where it flashes the RGB LEDs in different colours, because of course you need that when you clean the pool, whatever. Um, it shows you how many litres of water it has filtered um, and it shows you how much power it has consumed. And actually, that's a well, I'll touch on that, that's a good point. So, on the screen, I've got the, um, the, the uh, M400, 500, and 600. Price wise, 1500 odd, uh, 1900 and 2300. So, there's a big difference, big, big, big difference in the price that, that with this being the most expensive. So is it worth that extra outlay? Well, my problem, as I say, is with the app. So as I just showed you, it it, um, it wouldn't connect just now to the Wi-Fi, which is really annoying. So with those price differences, the um, I've written down some, some observations. So the four and 500 is 17 cubic meters per hour filtration, and the 600 is 19, so it is more. Now, that consumption and that filtration is a great thing because what it does is it enables you to run your main pool pump and filtration system less. So what I do, normally you'd run your pool pump, your main one for eight hours a day or maybe 10 hours a day. What I do is I reduce that by two hours for the two hours that the M600 is running. Cool, the M600 consumes 180 watts of power. My uh, big, pool pumps about one and a half kilowatts so it's about a tenth of the power consumption that's good i used to pay um a pool man 30 euros a week to come and do my pool clean it with the with the net and whatever because i just don't have time i'm trying to run my own business some new country two young kids blah 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 so 30 quid a week times 52 1500 euros a year power consumption 180 watts versus one and a half kilowatts, 10% of the power for two hours a day. So without the, um, without even taking into account the electricity usage, because I don't know what my unit charge is at the moment, it keeps changing because of blah, 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 you know, you know what. Um, with just not paying my pool man, it pays for itself in 18 months and it has a three year guarantee. So 18 months is paid for itself and you're guaranteed another 18 months on top of that before you've got to pay to have anything fixed. So from that perspective, the 2,300 quid is actually good value for money because it pays for itself in that time. Now, the other one, the 400 and the 500, as I say, 17 cubic meters per hour versus 19 cubic meters per hour, they're not as powerful, so they are not going to get that fine grit. They also do not have uh, a dual active scrubber. What that means, on the front you've got these brushes here so on this one the 400 and the 500 this brush is connected to the drive belt it moves at the same speed on the 600 the two brushes here are not connected directly to the drive they're connected via uh, sun and planet type gear so they rotate faster than the tracks so it's an active scrubber it's, it is actually scrubbing the other two don't do that the other thing is it has a multi-level filter basket multi-layer which we looked at had the inner basket and the outer basket and the option to have that fine pleated filter or the kind of the screen thing the other two don't have that um they also don't have the app so that cost difference the app's crap i'm sorry matronics it's really not good the amount of problems i've had with your app make it effectively unusable at the moment right now as we speak it's doing its second second run of the day and i can't connect to it right now so it forget that forget the app i've now got a price difference of 375 between the 500 and the 600 so the question you need to ask yourself is is it worth paying that additional money for another two cubic meters per hour of filtration and the dual active scrubber and the multi-layer filter basket. 
I have to say, I've not tried the M500. I'm new to owning swimming pools. The M600 is the only one I've bought, and that was recommended by the guy in the shop. All right, maybe he's got an up, you know, upsale, blah, blah, blah. But he said that that two cubic meters per hour difference is quite significant. And I have to say, the 600 is brilliant. It, I mean, that pool, we've lived here for 18 months, just over. I have not touched that pool once. That's a lie. Once I fished out a toy boat that my son dropped in. But in terms of a cleaning, I have not touched it once with the net or the old vacuumy thing that plugs into the main filtration system. I just drop the dolphin in. In the summer, I'm doing it every day. In the winter, it's once a week, once every two weeks, whenever we have a storm. So, yeah, I think... Would I buy it again? I probably would. There is that big difference, 375 quid, between the five and the six, but the six... It, I probably feel disappointed with the M500. App aside, and the app, you can make it work. You can't. You have to turn off the five gigahertz jobby on your mesh thing, or and, and it'll only run on two point four gig on your router. And you have to reinstall the app, and you have to reinitialize the power supply and scan a QR code. And bits. I mean, it's a, you can make it work if you really want to. So, but you know, in terms of review, yeah, it's worth it. The, you know. Pool maintenance for me is put some chlorine in, clean out the sand filter once a month or less because I forget, and chuck this in the pool. It's really easy. It's really good. It's really good. So forget the app. On their website, they go on and on about the connected, wonderful cloud-based thing. It's rubbish. But the machine itself is very good. I'd get one again, yeah.